It's the morning of February the 24th, around 7 o'clock. We're trying to get an early start. Just packed up our tent, or our kayaks, or we're getting our kayaks packed up. Tent's down. Chris is doing a good job this morning. It's really, really buggy. We could hear the mosquitoes all night. It was just a constant, you know, like a hum of them. It was horrible. The um, tide is down. There is absolutely no wind, which is really bizarre. And that's great, though, because it means that we'll have a nice, calm, easy paddle out to um, Johnson. There's a chicky out in Johnson. Uh, it's called Johnson Key, and it's um, just out sort of in the middle of nowhere. And it's, ooh, there's somebody fishing this morning. Hmm. Um, <laughs> looks like a pelican. Uh, so anyway, we're going about nine miles straight out that away, somewhere to Johnson Key, or Johnson Chicky, which is just, ooh, these. I wonder if he caught anything. Hmm. Anyway, we should look. And, uh, better get this stuff packed up. We even have our own outhouse. You said there's a whole bunch of fish? What did you just say? There's a bunch of fish? Lots and lots of fish. Thousands of fish. Man, I, maybe we can just catch them with our teeth. There's all those mad birds. Lots of bird poop. I can imagine. Does it look fairly easy to get up? Well, why don't we just tie up and uh, we'll get we'll deal with the boats a little later when the tide comes up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, yeah, maybe I'll try and dig out the uh, the stove and we'll make it up tea and coffee. Or that. That'd be great. going to make a tough, bit of a tough paddling day. got a problem. We thought we could paddle in a pretty straight line back to Flamingo and this is what we've run up against. We're a little stuck. Well, we're not stuck, but we realize that we've got a long way to go because we've now got to go around, I think, this island and come at it from a different angle. And we can sit here and wait for high tide which is about an hour according to the charts, right Chris? Have you got the... What's that? The, the high tide. Oh, it's more than that. It's more than an hour. 
but it looks pretty shallow over there too. Like the, well, you can see the channel that runs around the outside of that island. I know that. Yeah. Very close into the island, so. I thought I saw channel markers back there. Back where? Back, you know, earlier when we were closer to the Chicky. Which way, though? Well, they ran out across, um, like they ran um, east and west, but I can't see them now. Not from this angle. I could see them from up top, you know, closer, like I said, to the chicky. Anywho. Well, it seems to be this sort of stuff, like just the, the tops. I know. Do you want to go a little further and see if we might see be able to See if we can. Some? All right. Let's, let's plug along and just see what we have to do and see how wide it is. If it, if it isn't too wide, maybe, like if it's a strip of shallows, perhaps we can, you know, just get through it right let's get a let's have a closer look uh, okay wish us luck okay this is not the saddest it's the saddest moment ever so far we're so sad we want to die <laughs> i want to die i just want it Not as soon as we thought it would. <laughs> We're just stuck. And there's just miles and miles and miles of grass everywhere. And four hours till the high tide. Maybe an alligator will just crawl up right now and attack us. That's probably what's going to happen. So, we're going to go, we're going to paddle back and around and hope for the best. But it's with the deepest of despair. The deepest, deepest, darkest despair. Okay, we're good. We found the channel markers. We found the channel. We are going to survive. There is, there's the, the markers that mark the channel all the way along. Although we've had to paddle quite a ways out of our way, we know now we're at least going to get where we need to go.